Hello, my name is Paul from ClickAlgo. Um, in this video, we're going to explain how to install the CT dashboard for CTrader. From the blog, you should be able to download the file directly into your downloads directory. It's a single file that's zipped up. So all you need to do is um, copy the file into your robots directory, which, you know, for, for CTrader. To find this, it's just, if you click on this button here, you've got show in folder. It's the My Documents Algo Sources Robots folder. So in here, I've dropped one already somewhere, CTrader dashboard. So it zipped up, five megs. I want to uncompress it, so extract files. I want to go to the robots directory and OK it. So there it is, the Algo files come in there. And then that's all you need to do. And as soon as it drops into that directory, it gets picked up by uh, CTrader. So to put it onto a chart, you just drag it onto a chart like this. And then to run it, you just click on the start button. This should come up with the dashboard. This is the um, free version. So it's got limited functionality. It's, it's really there for you to use to take over from Scalpers Buddy or the volatility uh, product that, we, that was done previously, which is this one here in a, in a graphical view. So it's a lot nicer to see. Um, it's got a lot more features than the one before. And the reason we're giving away this free version is because we're hoping to do a paid version later on, which has got a lot more functionality so that um, we're going to put a, a huge amount of functionality in it, sell it for a very low price. So it's just a marketing thing, really. But at the same time, you benefit from a free tool. So this free version, um, I'll go through the features of it. For starters, you can add multiple dashboards on there if you want. But this, the, the free version, it's one for each uh, instrument. So if I click on this chart here, or you also notice that it's got always on top. So it stays on top of the charts. You can drag it to other screens. So I've got one already on EuroSD. I've already dropped one across on that one. So if I start that, it's waiting for data. I've got one now for EuroUSD and one for GPD-USD. Um, so you can have them both run at the same time. You can have as many as you want. So you can have a separate screen and you can just have multiple versions of these running. Um, so I'll go through the features now. So the volatility, this is a very basic test, same as the other one. It's how many pips are moved in a one minute period. That's it really. So how much, so this version is only very, only useful if you're on a short time scale and you want to know if there's a huge amount of volatility that might affect your trade. If you've got very tight uh, stops and stuff like that, this might be useful. It also shows you the spread. Uh, what you can do with this as well is in the settings mode, you can set the threshold down and play a sound if you want a sound. Every time the volatility for the Euro USD goes above the threshold, which is two, maybe it'll go in a minute, I'll give it a quick go. It will actually, the dial will shine, uh, bright go red. To save time, I'll drop it down to one. There it is, and the beep, the sound you heard was it um, going up. So the dial will go red and it will do a beep and it will just show you there's volatility on that. And you can do the same for, for this currency as well. So you can see that it, you know, you might find some use for it as there was over 2,000 downloads on the previous indicator, which is this one here, you know, this, this should be a, a step up. So this does take up a lot more real estate, it takes up a lot more room on your screen. Um, but the future versions, you'll be able to resize and shrink. So you'll be able to resize the, uh, the window and the dials will get smaller. You'll be able to minimize and it will go into the taskbar at the bottom and show the value. So there'll be a lot more functionality to decrease the size as well as uh, sending email alerts, SMS alerts, and do we're going to do different time frames of the volatility. Instead of how volatile the price is moving in a one-minute period, you can specify one hour, one day, one week, four hourly, eight hourly. So you can see if there's a lot of price movement in a certain time frame, if, if it's picking up. Uh, the depth of market, this is the same as uh, currently what we have there, which is what Ctrader has. What is the depth of market for the bears and bulls at the moment? At the moment, when you start the uh, the, console, the the control, this, this widget, when you first start it up, it starts accumulating these two values. And it kind of works out from day one, sorry, from day one, from the point you open the application, who is in control. So at the moment, when you look at it with the old one, it only tells you the buyers and sellers at that specific, specific time. It doesn't tell you um, over, say, since midnight. So if you, if you open this application at midnight and let it run, it would actually tell you who has put the most orders in 
for for uh, longs or shorts. So you know that whether who is in control at that time in the market. This might be a useful feature. You can go into settings and reset the DOM there. If you just click on that, it will actually reset the value again. And this is all very experimental. And the idea behind this beta version is for you to um, give me feedback and tell me what you would find really useful to have, how this would help your trading. If you don't find it useful at all, just let me know because um, you know we just quickly put this together to see if there is a market for it really. You've also got at the bottom of the screen uh, the symbol, the instrument, and you've got whether there is an increase in the sell orders, like here it's gone red, it tells you there's an increase in sell orders at the moment. Um, very basic tool at the moment. You can have multiple ones on the screen. You've got the on top, so if you click off, you know, it goes, minimizes. You can get it back on somehow. Um, straightforward about box, bit about us. You can click on the click elbow button. So it's pretty straightforward. You can exit here. Um, it's pretty thread safe. If you close the robot, it closes the application. If you close the window, it closes the application as well. Okay, that's the demo over. I hope you find it useful. Um, if you could leave comments on the blog, that would be very, very useful. Thank you.